Lazy is my middle name, so do not feel bad. Mama Molina wants to know what camera settings should she use for a nighttime baseball game? Make sure and save this video for later so that you can come back when you are at a nighttime baseball game or dance recital that's really dark or whatever. First up, you wanna make sure that your shutter speed is fast enough so that your kid doesn't just look like a blur of motion, right? So at least 500, maybe a thousand. Now your aperture, you're probably gonna be sitting pretty far away, like in the stands, or you're gonna be standing like right behind the fence or, you know, like at least 10, 20 feet probably away from your subject. So you can have your aperture pretty low. This is going to let in lots of light into the camera, which is a good thing because it is nighttime, right? I'm gonna say to start your aperture at 2.8. Now, the ISO setting that I suggest is really going to surprise you. I've never taken photos at a nighttime baseball game. However, I have taken photos at a dance recital where the entire auditorium was pitch black, but the stage was lit up from the stage lights for the dancers. And it's a lot like that at a baseball game. The players are lit up from those crazy field lights. So your ISO does not need to be that high. Try the 400, 800 range. If that doesn't work, try 1600 to 3200. What is crucial to remember while you are there adjusting your settings and taking your test shots? If you change one setting, it affects at least one of the other two. This is an exposure triangle, right? So aperture, you're pretty much set at 2.8, okay? So I wouldn't really worry about that because aperture is not your main priority in this setting. In this setting, you wanna make sure your kid is not a blurry mess of motion and that your kid is lit up. I'm always assuming it's your kid, whoever the subject is. So if you start your shutter speed at 500 and they're too blurry and you bump it to 1000, that lets in less light. So on the exposure triangle, changing the shutter speed is going to change your ISO because it's gonna change how much light comes in. So if you raise your shutter speed one stop, you will need to raise your ISO one or two stops, okay? If you are taking another test shot and the shutter speed is great, they're not blurry anymore, but it's way too dark, bump up your ISO, okay? If you've got your aperture and your shutter speed perfect, you can change your ISO independently. It will not affect the other two on the exposure triangle. I hope that helps. Drop your questions in the chat.